Not Enough for Queen Fluff by Rachel Lyon. Queen Fluff was the fanciest bunny in town. She had servants, a stagecoach and quite a big crown. Her burrow was grander than any you've seen. It was spacious and stylish and spotlessly clean. She had all the comforts a queen could afford, but this queen was lonely and this queen was bored. She longed for a journey, a trip somewhere new, so she sent out a note to each bunny she knew. I want somewhere fancy to lay my fine head, a fabulous burrow, a four-poster bed, and three times a day I require a feast, an a la carte menu, ten courses at least. I'll visit each burrow, perfection I'll seek, I'll pick out my favourites and stay for a week. My servants are ready, my bags will be packed, so bunnies get busy and clean up your act. But out in the kingdom, the bunnies were poor. They sat on their bottoms and slept on the floor. They could not afford to play host to a queen who liked everything fancy and lavish and clean. So rather than rushing around to imp impress, they tried to deter her by making more mess. And all through the kingdom, they ran to and fro, taking thistles and nettles and worse down below. The queen in her spotless royal burrow, meanwhile, was packing her bags with a skip and a smile. The stagecoach was ready, the swans were in place, so she climbed in with pleasure and set off at a pace. The bunnies were waiting and gave a slight wink, for they knew what they'd done and they knew what she'd think. I'm here, she said proudly, I've come to inspect and see which fine burrow I'd like to select. She came to the first hole, jumped down in a dash, only to scamper straight out in a flash. It's dreadful, she bellowed. I'm not staying here. I was stung on the bottom whilst trying the chair. The fanciest burrow, no, not likely, no way. Queen Fluff is not coming to your place to stay. She ran down the next hole with eager delight, but hurried straight out with a look of sheer fright. It's awful, she shouted, more so than the first. I cannot believe it, it's really the worst. There were toads on the table and fleas at my feet and for dinner they offered me bug broth to eat. The fanciest burrow, not nearly, no way. Queen Fluff is not coming to your place to stay. If the next hole's no better, I'm leaving, she cried and into the neighbouring burrow she dived. Good gracious, she warbled, the worst I've seen. That burrow is fit for a pig, not a queen. I was up to my ankles in muck on the floor and my shiny gold slippers are ruined, I'm sure. Plus, down in the dirt with the worms and the ants sat a rat wearing only his underpants. The fanciest burrow, not likely, she bawled. Such squalor, such standard, I'm shocked and appalled. But as she was leaving, she heard them all say, Our plan worked a treat, she's going, hooray! She may be a rich queen with feasts every day, but caring or thoughtful, not likely, no way. The queen felt ashamed and she turned back around. She looked at the bunnies, then looked at the ground. You've taught me a lesson, she said, and I'm glad, for though I am rich, I am lonely and sad. I must behave better, I must make amends, and if you will have me, I'd like to be friends. You can come to a ball back at my place, she said, and stay overnight in my four-poster bed. The bunnies looked thrilled. Will there be a big feast? Queen Fluff smiled and nodded. Ten courses at least. The end.